So in my lab, we, we work on a family of genes. Um, and so there are many families of genes. Um, and so what makes cancer very com complex is that um, there's a lot of redundancy um, in, in the human uh, genome. Um, and so um, I work on the P53 family of genes, and P53 is one of the most commonly mutated um, genes in cancer. And so about 10 years ago, two relatives of P53, like they're called P the siblings of P53, P63 and P73, were discovered. And so my lab is focused on understanding the, f the family of genes as a whole, um, and really the goal is to um, tailor cancer therapies uh, toward, uh, toward this family of, of uh, tumor suppressor genes. The interesting thing about um, both P63 and P73 is that they're on different chromosomes than P53, so all three family members are in different chromosomes. But what was exciting when these genes were discovered is that these chromosomes where these other genes are located are commonly lost. When genes are lost, um, basically what this, what this means is, is when the cell, as the cell divides, the genetic material is, is, is lost, so this gene is no longer made. Um, and so if the gene's no longer made, then it's no longer, of course, it can no longer function. And so when these chromosomes are lost, um, this leads to tumorigenesis. So for example, P73 is on an area of, of, the, um, of the chromosome that's frequently deleted in brain tumors. Uh, and likewise, P63 is deleted in, in lots of different uh, type of tumors.